GPT-4 Vision, I think, is one of the most, if not the most advanced computer system, vision system on the planet. And I'm going to give you some examples of why I think it's so revolutionary. So I was at dinner with some friends the other night, and unfortunately, one of the friends said, I've never done anything with ChatGPT. And unfortunately, he was sitting there next to the wrong person to say that to. And I was like, well, let me show you. Um, and so I took a picture of the table where we were eating, and I asked the question, who needs a refill? Now, just to give you a sense of this, this would be a very, very difficult computer vision problem. And if I had to solve this, I would have to go and spend a ton of time building and training a computer vision model. And it would probably be very, very tough to make this work well. And this is not a great photo to do this with. But I just took the photo, I gave it to GPT-4 Vision and ChatGPT, and I said, who needs a refill? And it says, it looks like the glass with ice water is still fairly full, while the beer bottle seems to be nearly empty, so someone might want to refill in the beer soon. That is incredibly sophisticated computer vision, and I built basically an entire refill detector. That's a, It's a thing I could use over and over simply by giving it a photograph and a question. Then I thought, well, can it help me order? Because the waitress had just walked up while I was talking to my friend, and, and I wasn't picking a menu item, and so I just tried to get ChatGPT's help in picking what I should eat on the menu. And I said, I'm feeling indecisive and out of time. The waitress is here. Everyone is waiting on me. I need a quick keto option. And I snapped a picture of the menu and I gave it this question. And it came back and it said, go for the grilled chili relleno with smoked chicken and sliced avocado. It's a keto friendly option that's low in carbs and high in fat and protein. Now, the first time I looked at this, I was like, oh, I got it. I caught it making a mistake. And I looked up and I said, look, the chili relleno has corn in it. Corn isn't very keto. It's okay. ChatGPT makes mistakes. And then later I went and I looked back and I realized I had made the mistake because it said the grilled chili relleno, which is below the chili relleno, and it does not have corn in it. It just has smoked chicken and sliced avocado, which could be keto. So it actually had a better vision than me. And then I looked up at this light fixture and I thought it was a really interesting light fixture. And I thought, huh, I wonder how I would make that on my own at home. Could I try to build my own version of it? And so I snapped a picture of it and I said, give me a detailed step-by-step -step plan for creating a do-it-yourself version of this light fixture. Also give me a complete list of materials that I will need with identifiers like 1A, 1B, and then reference them in the step-by-step -step plan. Now that is an incredibly sophisticated task with a bad photo of a light fixture. Now, what does ChatGPT do? Well, it gave me a very long set of instructions to build this thing, including all of the materials. And this is a, a little excerpt from it. Take the metal wire 1A and start by shaping it into multiple circles of different diameters. Use the pliers 1B for more precision. Connect the circles together using small wire segments to create a similar 3D shape as in the image. And it went on and on and on explaining basically how to make the light fixture. Now you could also snap a picture of what you're eating and say, give me a recipe to cook this or give me different possible recipes to cook this. You know, it's a fundamentally transformative thing. And that level of sophistication in computer vision, difficult, if not impossible to achieve with any other technique.